the Incredible Hulk, Koopa Troopas, StarCraft Marines, Minecraft Pillagers, Warhammer 40k Space Marines, Green Army Men, Game of Thrones, Lannister Knights, Lego Black Falcon Knights, 501st Clone Troopers, Knights of Gondor from Lord of the Rings, Halo ODST Soldiers, and Fallout Power Suit Armor Soldiers are all here to defend against six million zombies. They are defending incredible bridge choke point positions, as well as large wall fortifications. It will be all fantasy armies from Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 against an onslaught of ravenous zombies. If you guys enjoy these videos, please be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below if you think that all the fantasy armies will be able to do this, or will they die in the process? Let's get into it here. What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Meta of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Alrighty then boys, pressing start right now and we have the zombies running up to the Hulk and he just karate kicks them away. Oh my goodness, my guy is absolutely bussin'. What a powerful brute man. This is lore accurate Hulk. This is not that lame Professor Hulk crap we've gotten recently this is the big guy baby heck yeah uh yeah this uh is a mod that i have never used before and actually there's a bunch of other mods that we have never used before on this channel uh in this game today so i'm very excited about that we've got the hulk just beating the snot out of zombies over here uh red koopas back this way are also beating the snot out of some zombies which is beautiful to see they're also backed up by some soul drinker space marine fire back here so the warhammer units supporting a whole awful lot We've also got some of the StarCraft Marines over this way, which I don't think we've ever used them in a battle before, but they are doing some nice suppressive fire as well, arcing their fire actually over and into the zombies over this way, getting some nice kills over there. Uh, and then we also got some of the Minecraft Pillagers over here with crossbows, though I don't think they're quite in range yet. Over here on the other side of the wall, the Lannister Spearmen from Game of Thrones are holding out this is for House Lannister. We'll pay our debt to the zombies. <laughs> Unlike in actual Game of Thrones, where they never came to help with the White Walkers, uh, they're actually doing it here. So, uh, I guess redemption, I suppose. Maybe Ed Sheeran is somewhere in this crowd of Lannister knights. I, I don't know. <laughs> Those last few seasons were a disaster. But they are getting some very good kills against the zombies over here although they are losing some serious amounts of soldiers themselves but they're being supported uh by waves of arrows from the black falcon archers over here the lego troopers uh and also the 501st clone trooper legion is spamming some dc 15c laser fire into these guys over here too so quite a nice little wombo combo of spears archery and laser fire it's it's not too bad at all and then over this way we actually have the uh power armor the brotherhood has arrived from fallout baby um and these guys we have never used them before but they're fairly powerful i checked them out before the video began they've got about 5,000 health a piece so theoretically they can they can do some serious damage without dying too quickly uh, and that seems to be the case here they've got a bit of a body pile already being birthed over here in this little choke point death tunnel area and then further back here we've got the halo odst troopers and they've actually got the shotgun uh with them here and this is actually a oh this zombie is just chilling 
All right, that's a glitch zombie, clearly. Uh, but usually they can fix that with melee units. With range units, it's a little bit different, but uh, I think he'll probably die fairly soon. Uh, once he kills this ODST trooper, probably, then he moves on to the next and will die uh, pretty instantly there. But the shotguns are holding really, really nicely here, stopping them from crossing the bridge, which is of the utmost importance, because then all of these guys back here will be flanked. Uh, there is the Knights of Gondor here from Lord of the Rings, able to stop them as well, so that will be helpful, but still, you don't really want it to come to that. Uh, either way, this is a brand new Halo mod, and I think I'm going to do a mod showcase of it pretty soon, because... There are so many units in it, and I just wanted to use one of them for this vi video, so I decided to use uh, these ODSTs over here. However, there's also all sorts of vehicles, you know, there's warthogs, pelicans, etc. There's the Covenant soldiers, there's more Spartans added, etc. So I, I think we will do a Halo mod showcase if you guys are interested in watching that maybe this weekend. Either way, the power armor troopers over here are definitely struggling a little bit. Some of these runner zombies are actually getting their way up onto the ramparts and then diving in from above. That's kind of insane to watch right there. Now, I know this is going to be controversial, but we do have the military zombies in this battle. There's only 500,000 of them, so we did weaken their numbers. Usually we spawn in about a million, and the fantasy armies have some seriously powerful units in this. So I kind of think that those military zombies aren't going to be as effective as you guys might think, but we will see. Most people, when I asked for suggestions on what we do about using those military war zombies, because they are very, very powerful, most people said, keep them in the battles, but lessen their numbers. And that's exactly what I did. We lessen their numbers, we put them in the way, way back, so they're not going to be like the first in charging uh, and, and causing a crazy commotion at the very, very beginning. So we'll see if they do have a crazy effect on the battle or not. Either way, we've also got some burn zombies up here attacking the Lannister men. Uh, we've also got runner zombies in the group here, and that's sort of resulting in chaos within the Lannister lines. It's, uh, it's kind of a weird uh, front line here. It's a, a mismatch of zombies and uh, Lannister men and things like that. So kind of crazy over there. Uh, the archers up here still firing away, supporting, probably not doing crazy damage, but anything helps. And then the middle ground is still holding really nicely, mainly because of the 501st laser fire. And you can see the body piles growing over this way. Pretty big, pretty big time. How's the front lines doing? How's the Hulk doing? The Hulk is still very much so alive. <laughs> he is uppercutting the crap out of these zombies left and right. Uh, we do have more Koopa Troopers going down. Their lines are thinning a little bit. Oh, it seems like, especially on the far right side over here, their lines are thinning quite a bit as the zombies manage to come in. But the Space Marines over here are holding them back and supporting quite a bit. Uh, there's only, I believe there's 2,000 Soul Drinker Space Marines here. Uh, and then up here, there's uh, 1,000, I believe, of the... Maybe there's 2,000. I think there might be 2,000 StarCraft Marines right there. I've never played StarCraft, so I don't really know that much about them, but I know it's pretty popular, uh, so I figured I'd add them. Oh, the left flank over here. These Koopas are getting pretty, pretty destroyed, man. Holy cow. Yeah, these guys are getting eaten away at, bro. They're going to turn into dry bones. <laughs> that actually be cool if dry bones were in the game. I don't think they are. Um, and then in the back here, we do have the green plastic army men. These guys I put behind the Gondorian knights. So if the bridge falters over here or the power armor troopers over there falter, uh, the Gondorians do have supported fire. But army men, if the enemy gets close to them, they will go down super fast. So that is definitely a danger that we don't want to have happen. But so far in this battle... Things are going quite well, I would say, for the Fantasy Army. Let's actually check the stats out, though. Okay, so we started with 87,000 Fantasy Army Troopers. They are down to 58,000 now. So they have lost about 20k, it seems like. Um, as for the Zombies, they started with 6 million. They are down to 4.7 million Troopers now. So they've lost about 1.3 million seems like both sides are taking some fairly heavy losses, but they're both maintaining their numbers decently. It's not clear who is going to win this exactly just yet. But I have to say, this Lannister army defense is absolutely fire. Oh my goodness. There's pretty much every 
Game of Thrones house in this game now. Every major house, at the very least. Uh, we just haven't used all of them. We've used a lot of Stark and Lannister, um, but not much of the others. I thought it could be kind of cool to do a every single Game of Thrones house um, versus a White Walker invasion on the Tundra map. That could be kind of cool to see. I'm not going to lie. So maybe we'll go ahead and do that one of these days. I, I think that could be pretty fun. The way you can see the arrows zipping into these guys in the background here. The laser fire as well. Absolutely brutal. These zombies making their way forward. Doing some destruction, baby. B-E-A, beautiful. And how's the Fallout Boys doing over here? Yeah, the Brotherhood's still doing very, very well for themselves as well. Things are going well. I will say that. Uh, the Hulk over here, I think if he dies, the Koopas are going to have a lot more trouble. How much health does he have? Let's see. He's got 150k. That's crazy. Holy smokes. He hasn't lost any of his health yet, but I don't think these zombies are even getting close enough to him to actually hit it. So I think once more Koopas die and they can fully surround the Hulk, they'll actually do some damage to him. But for now, he's doing very, very well. He is not invincible because there are a few uh, units in the Marvel Universe uh, in this game that are technically invincible. Uh, so I did test this with 1 million zombies versus the Hulk uh, at one point just to see what would happen uh, and the Hulk uh, did die so just so you know he is not invincible he can die but I think he does need to be surrounded to actually die either way let's go ahead and time lapse over here with the house Lannister troopers versus the zombies it's gonna be a pretty chaotic time lapse so I think it'll look really cool All right, well, we got buried under a body pile right there, but House Lannister is still prevailing right now, albeit they are losing some serious numbers. I think once it gets back to, like, these little alleyways, they'll definitely have a little bit easier of a time, and the clone troopers will be so close to the enemy at that point that it's going to be easier for them to get hits as well and back up House Lannister a bit more. Over here, Power Armor is just holding all on their lonesome. I think it will get tough once this body pile reaches up here and these zombies can kind of side flank them a little bit. They almost can now, but they're not quite doing it. So that's a little bit rough at the moment, but so far the Brotherhood is holding extraordinarily well right now. Let's check in on... Ooh, not good. Ooh, hello, DST. Not doing well. Not doing well at all. That glitch zombie definitely did not have any impact on this. I, like guarantee it he probably died after killing that one halo odst unit and uh that was that but these guys are definitely having some serious trouble against these like kind of flannel wearing zombies luckily there is the uh gondorians back here and the green army men ready to back them up also the front over here with the dual bridges is still doing fantastically well and the hulk is very much so still alive he's probably doing so well as well because of the backup fire he's getting from the starcraft marines over here not to mention the pillagers haven't even really gotten involved in the battle yet so that's another untapped potential unit uh coming into play fairly soon so overall, I would definitely say that the Fantasy Army units are doing quite well. I do worry about the Halo ODSTs over here holding this bridge. I think that could be very, very problematic. Um, I don't worry as much about the Power Armor Troopers. They're, they seem to be doing fine. I don't worry about the Hulk and his gang over here. But the Lannisters over here are becoming threatened quite a bit. That is definitely a worry. Let's go ahead and watch the uh, Halo ODST units over here because they could get overrun at any minute here. Okay, so it looks like the zombies have torn through the Halo ODST units over here extremely quickly, and uh, it's going to be a bit of a reach if they're going to survive. <laughs> Get it, Halo reach. <laughs> oh my god. But these guys are definitely dead. Yeah, no, no, no goofy, no lie, they're definitely dead. They probably got a few hundred thousand zombie kills. I mean, there's a lot of dead zombies around here. Probably more are drowning under here as they cross. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, but yeah, they, they are going to go down, and then we're going to see the Knights of Gondor actually get involved in this battle. Now, there's two levels of them. There's the guys up here, and then there's a thinner line down here with more army men backing them up. So, 
hopefully they can hold for a decent amount of time. I'm not entirely sure how well they're going to do. Halo ODST units are still trying to hold out, though, which is good to see. We're at 3.9 million remaining zombies, so 2.1 million have died on the battlefield. We do have Lannister men directly defending clone troopers and archers over this way. And a whole lot more archers way back here should be firing over the hilltop now at some of these oncoming zombies. And the middle ground here is still holding really nicely. I mean, look at this body pile they've created. It is absolutely tremendous. How is the Hulk doing? He's still alive! Yes! The StarCraft Marines are probably helping them out tremendously. And then the Koopas back here are distracting some zombies. And actually, the assault on the left here is almost done. Oh, look at this! Actually... It's just zombies feeding through this tunnel here. So it's actually a bit more of a trickle in. So this side of the battlefield is doing very, very well. This is close to a victory. Even some StarCraft Marines are just firing over this way and uh, shooting zombies on top of this hill and knocking them down. That's sick. Okay, very nice. Love to see. All right, Halo ODSCs. They must be breaking. Yep. Here's like two of them left. Sometimes it takes the zombies a minute to repath find, uh, but the Gondorians are pretty close, so maybe they won't. Uh, but this guy goes down. There you go. That's it for the Halo ODSTs. The first unit to fully die, and the zombies don't need a second. They just start charging. We do have the green army men spamming some fire over this way. <sighs> Gondor Knights beginning their defense. I love the army of Gondor, man. They look so cool. I did not mean to move that zombie. Man, I gotta rewatch Lord of the Rings. I, I literally rewatched it last year, <laughs> and I want to rewatch it again. Oh my goodness! I also love listening to the audiobooks while driving. Ugh, I, I love Lord of the Rings, man. It's so goaded. It is so goaded. Um, either way, yeah, these guys probably aren't gonna survive for like too long. Maybe these guys back here will do better, but the Green Army men need to really start getting some serious kills. Oh, Space Marines are actually able to fire into the side. That's gonna be helpful. That's good. That's really, really good. Okay. Very nice. Uh, and these guys are still holding up here pretty okay. It's looking rough, but they're still holding, so that's good. All right, let's do an overhead of this assault with Green Army Men and the Knights of Gondor and some Space Marine fire going in, too. Oh, wait. First, I want to check in on the Power Armor Boys. They're still alive. They're still kicking. We love to see that. Beautiful. They are holding. Halo, unable to. Sad. Okay. Let's get it, boys. So the zombies have made serious progress down this way, but Gondor is holding them a little bit, a little bit, <laughs> not, not a crazy amount, but the, they are slowing them down. Not only that, the Star... What am I saying? I was going to say StarCraft. The Warhammer 40k Space Marines are helping out tremendously. I think without them, the Green Army men here would be in way more trouble. But for now, they're good, although these guys are probably going to barrel through them and uh, eventually start hitting these pillagers over this way, which would be a little bit of a problem. 501st Legion over here also kind of going down. It's not looking good. Yeah. House Lannister, I think, is pretty much done for. There's a few here and there, but not, not enough. Not enough. How? Okay. Right now, the Power Armor boys are doing quite poorly as well. Uh, they are dying out. Looks like the war zombies have hit, but there's really not too many of them, so hopefully they can get a grip eventually. Um, eventually these Gondorians will start being in the fight as well. It's going to be rough. We can't lie. It's going to be rough going forward. However, we still have an amazing defense over here. The Hulk is still very much so alive. Okay, he's been pushed back here, but he is still alive, still kicking. We still got Koopas. We still got... Starcraft Marines, we still got Pillagers, we still got Green Army Men, huh. and we still have a lot of Lego Boys, but it looks like the Clone Troopers here did just break, so that is a shame. There should be more, oh no, the walls already got taken over here and over here, so nah, I guess that's it for the Clone Troopers. Yikes. Space Marines though, we, we got Space Marines, That that's good, that's very good, Space Marines are good. <laughs> both, both Marine types still alive is excellent. Yeah, look at this. Look how fast the Green Army Men go down. Green Army Men are kind of poo 
They're kind of poo. They're not fantastic. All right, let's do a big overhead here uh, because we're, we're going to need to see it, baby. Okay, things aren't going fantastic anymore. The green army men up here are definitely suffering a good bit, but most of these guys are now trickling in towards the space marines over that way, which is good. Um, also, yeah, it is a choke point here that these guys can crawl across, so it will be a light amount of troopers coming in uh, over there. Also, up this way, we now have the Knights of Gondor fighting against a lot of standard zombies with a couple military zombies mixed in there. They're doing a good fight, though. They're definitely getting a lot of kills. Uh, the pillagers over this way also having to deal with a bit of a zombie surge right now. Uh, we do have the Starcraft Marines firing backwards a good bit to try and cover that choke point a little bit. Honestly, if the Starcraft Marines just want to leave it up to the Hulk to beat up these zombies over here and the Koopas, I'm okay with that and they just want to fully fire back this way. I think that honestly might be the best case scenario. Because uh, right now, yeah, the rear is the big problem. The, the front lines are, are pretty much fine. All right, Knights of Gondor going down a lot now. Luckily, again, we still got Space Marines. We still got Starcraft Marines. We still got Koopas. We still got Koopas. Oh, come on, Koopas. Oh, and we still have some uh, Lego Knights over this way, too. Lego Archers. They're getting some kills, but yeah, they're getting eaten by uh, many a zombie right now, along with the Pillagers, so... These guys are in for a very, very bad time, I would say. Yikes. Okay, let's overhead time-lapse again. Uh, this time a little bit more zoomed in over here, just to see. Okay, it appears as though the pillagers have started to hold, which is really important. I think it's partially because of the backup from... Uh, the Marines and the Space Marines. I, I think that is incredibly important to the Pillagers actually holding out. How much health do these guys have? 2,500. These guys are actually beefy. God dang. Um, all of the Lego troops, I think, are dead, sadly. Oh, there's still a few Lannisters holding out over here. Oh, and a few in the buildings. Way to go, boys. Heck yeah. Okay, that's good to see. Hopefully they can, I don't know, get a few kills. Why not? Um, there's also some army men still alive up on these buildings who, you know what? They're probably getting a few kills, so that's good too. Space Marines down here probably doing nice stuff. A few drowned, which is sad, but other than that, they're untouched. So those guys will be very good. The Hulk, still alive, baby. Still kicking. Still getting kills over here with the Koopa Troopas. That's what we need. We need the Hulk to basically hold that line all by himself. And if anyone's going to do it, it's probably the Hulk. I mean, he's kind of a beast, so hopefully he can. Right now, there's still 3 million zombies remaining uh, and 14,525 defenders remaining. Let's do a time lapse of over here. Well, the zombies have made a little bit more progress here, but I think the closer they get to the StarCraft Marines, the more losses they'll be taking, which will be helpful. But the pillagers have done a really nice job of holding out. We do have some bodies piling up here, so that's always a good sign. Uh, and same for the left flank over here. Very nice. Very, very nice. The Hulk, still holding, baby. Still holding. Some more Koopas have gone down, but the Hulk's still holding. That's good. Very nice. Good job, Koopas. Good job. <laughs> and, of course, the Space Marines down here are doing fantastic. Uh, they might end up regretting killing so many troops and having them... Oh, there's more Green Army men here. Having them go down here because the body piles could create a bridge down here because otherwise, zombies can't cross down here, I'm pretty sure. They have to go all the way around. So, that might be a little bit of a problem, but that's a problem for people later on. I do want to time-lapse the Hulk here for a little bit. It looks like he did take a little bit of damage, so he is, uh, you know, starting to... Starting to take some hits, but he's still alive. Very good to see. Let's watch him do some fighting. So the Hulk did get pushed further down here. I want to see... Okay, he's still got a ton of health, so he's doing very, very well, actually. 
A few more Koopas dying too as he kind of got pushed into them a little bit, but he seems to be handling this battlefield just fine on his own for the most part. More pillagers over here are dying and the Marines might have to start getting into some dirty work here fairly soon. Not so much on the right side, more so on the left side over here, but 2.65 million zombies remaining, which is not too bad. Oh, these guys are glitch fighting one random zombie. I will fix this zombie because he, yeah, there we go, is distracting a whole bunch of troopers. Oh, same thing over here. I promised you guys in the last video I would uh, fix glitches that will actually impact the battle. I didn't see the one up there as an impact because all of the bullets were still firing into the bridge and it was just one zombie who would die once that uh, ODST ended up dying himself. So I didn't see that as a problem. But these ones over here clearly glitches that will impact the battle. Are you guys firing? Who are you firing into? That's... Okay. All right. I think that's fine. But yeah, these uh, Space Marines down here are now effect getting affected by uh, zombies directly, which is no good. No good. 2.63 million zombies remaining. Let's go ahead and uh, time lapse the Space Marines down here now for a little bit. All right, well, these guys are still holding. I've been trying to fix the glitch zombies whenever I come across them. Um, they, it keeps happening over here. It's very strange. Look at that. Yeah. I don't know. This map seems very glitch prone. Uh, the Starcraft Marines are going down over here, which is not good. The pillagers ended up going down, and these guys are quickly following. Koopas up here seem to also be having quite a bit of trouble. Um, the Hulk is still smashing. He's still doing quite well, though. Uh, so it's good to see that the Hulk is uh, in control of his end of the battlefield. And, of course, the uh, Warhammer Space Marines are very in control there, too. I don't think any of the zombies will come down here. I think they have to literally cross the bridge, go down through these Koopas, and then attack over this water here. Um, so not too much of a threat of these guys being completely surrounded, but they could be surrounded by two sides if the Koopas fall. Um, but I think the Hulk will be the more pressing entity for the zombies to take out, and they are now completely surrounding him, so his uh, lifespan is definitely cut now by quite a bit. All the uh, StarCraft Marines up here are down. Koopas defending the bridge here, not doing a fantastic job. They're just Koopas, man. They got 400 health. They're not that powerful. The Hulk here, though, uh, is very nice, very powerful man. Let's watch him continue to Kung Fu fight for a while here. 2.45 million zombies remaining. All right, well, the Hulk continues to live over here. The uh, Space Marines continue to live down here. It's kind of just, uh, yeah, those two units now fighting. Very, very few guys actually flanking around the back of the Space Marines over here, so we'll let them continue to fight there. We're going to go ahead and do a little time lapse here, I think, since it seems like these two units remaining are doing some good fighting. Um, actually, I'm sorry, I misspoke. We're not going to time lapse. We're just going to let it run for maybe an hour uh, because I think these guys are in for the long haul. They're not really losing any units right now, save for a couple spare pillagers up here dying every once in a while uh, as the zombies climb up here uh, as well as I think the Lannisters are having kind of the same thing happen yeah every once in a while a Lannister dies or whatever but yeah we're gonna go ahead and uh, let this roll for a bit on its own because my computer is running out of gigabytes of storage and I think we're gonna want to do uh, some last stand time lapses in the future as well wait <gasps> the Hulk went down no boy did he get some serious kills he went absolutely nuts. All right, let's let this play for a little bit here. All right, boys, it's been quite a while now, and actually a lot of the Space Marines have died, and what I noticed is now we've got a buildup of these zombies over here. Now, Space Marines do have a lot of health, so they're able to hold out for quite a while uh, with this buildup happening, but some of the military zombies have pushed the Space Marines into the water. The water is straight black in the ocean here, so we can't really see them, but a lot of them are now drowning in the water as well. Uh, we've also got the body bridge here did end up forming, so now it's just like a whole flood of those guys coming on in here, so I think it's just about done -zo. Yeah, the Space Marines have started to lose a lot of troopers now, but they got a considerable amount of uh, kills during this time. Uh, they're just now starting to really, really get whacked by these guys as the buildup has just become uncontrollable. They got a lot of kills up here. I mean, look at the body piles that they ended up forming during that uh, time here. Look at them. Insane. 
yeah, absolutely crazy, but it did open up another path, all the body piles they created. Um, so these guys are going down pretty quickly now, actually. I think a lot of them are drowning. 1.3 million zombies remaining. Let's time-lapse their demise, but we're gonna run it back without the military zombies, just to see what would happen, because... Honestly, I think it was the military zombies striking again. Maybe we need to retire that unit. They're so fun to use, but they're like a little too OP. Well, guys, about 20 minutes later, we have the death of the Space Marines here, and look how many zombies ended up coming down there. Yeah, no wonder they lost when they did. They got absolutely bum-rushed. And I think a part of it was the pillagers all died over here, so there was less people distracting it. The zombies, the zombies have managed to eventually glitch their way up there. There's still a few Koopas fighting over here, um, but they will go down pretty quickly. 1.31 million zombies remaining, so in total, Fantasy Army got uh, 4.7 million kills, which is pretty good. But let's run it back without the military zombies. We'll replace them with more standard zombies and see what happens. All right, boys, here we go. Pressing start. We did replace the military zombies with more burned zombies, which is like kind of a middle of the line, middle of the road zombie. Uh, they're, they're still good, better than your normal zombie, but they're not quite as good as the military zombies, obviously. So, um, yeah, I, I hear you guys. I will stop putting in the military zombies if that's what you guys want. Or maybe we just put in like 100,000 of them. They're so cool looking. And... A lot of the times they make the battle a little bit more interesting because a battle that would just be a straight up defense with nothing exciting happening, suddenly all of these military zombies come through and, and bust that line. And I think that is a really cool feature of them, but I do understand that they're really overpowered. So we'll see if the fantasy armies can do this without them. Um, but I, uh, I do want to say that, yes, I hear you guys. Um, and I want to come to a consensus because I want to try and make everyone happy. But uh, I, I do understand they are a problem in these videos, so we'll figure it out. Either way, let's go ahead and watch the Halo units for a little bit here, because we didn't see too much of them before, and I think it's kind of a cool situation. A lot more water coming through this time. The water in this game is very random. I, I don't like that about it, but eh, whatever. Okay, so the Halo ODST troopers are still dying here. There's three point... I think that's a nine. My overlay covers it a little bit. I think it's 3.9 million zombies remaining. These guys still going down. They still managed a ton of kills, and they dammed up the river here, so that's impressive. Up top, Power Armor Boys still going hard. Yes, sir. Well done, my friends. Well done. And over this way... We will see how the Lannister army is doing. They've come back to life. And they're still doing pretty decently as well. I think it'll be the same situation over here as before. How is the Hulk doing? The Hulk is doing well. The Hulk is hulking. I think we should watch the Power Armor Boys because we never really got to see them last time around. So let's watch them do some serious damage here. All right, boys, the zombies continue to come forward. Power Armor Soldiers here holding out nicely. Over this way, uh, the Knights of Gondor are also holding a little bit better than last time, I would say. Not much better, but a little bit. Green Army Men here providing backup fire, all that. Pretty much the same jazz as what was happening last time around. So, uh, seems to be going pretty well so far. We're just gonna let this run for a little bit because I am running very, very, very low on storage space. I think we've got one or two time lapses maybe left that we can do, but let's go ahead and just let this ride for a while. All right, guys, a lot of time has passed here, and it seems like things are going way better this time around. Um, over here, the Fallout soldiers are still holding really nicely. They are taking increased losses now. I mean, they are probably going to go down, but at the same time, there's only 1.24 million zombies left, so at this point, um, they don't need to hold out for a crazy amount of time longer. These guys all died over here, but the pillagers are now surviving really nicely, and we still have green army men. I mean, these ones down here did die, um, but they're getting supported now from the Warhammer units over here. Yeah, I mean, this is going 
quite well this time around. The Koopas are all uh, mostly still alive over here, and the Hulk is still alive, though a little bit beat up now. So it does seem like we are doing far, far better this time around. Let's do an overhead time lapse this time around just to, just to check it out. Um, yeah, I think we have enough space. So let's do it. Another 20 minutes have gone by, and the holdout is still working currently. Yeah, baby. This is beautiful. Pretty much the same situation as before, to be honest with you. Not that much has changed. Oh, wait. Did this just break? I think that literally just broke. Holy cow, okay. So, I think the power armor just broke, and uh, now... The Knights of Gondor are fighting a ton of zombies coming at them. And they did pretty well last time around. I think these green army men are going to be goners, and maybe the added soldiers will help against the pillagers over here, but well, we'll just have to see. Pillagers are pretty tough. Let's go ahead and time lapse Gondor. And there we go, boys. Gondor has fallen now. And uh, yeah, these guys are running right up into the pillagers over this way. They seem to be dealing with them just fine. Uh, the Hulk over here. Hulk Hogan, brother. He is still alive, still fighting with the Koopas. Uh, and all the other Marines are still alive. Things seem to actually be fairly easy right now. There's still 700,000 zombies remaining, but I don't think they're going to be able to do this. Let's go ahead and... Uh, just let it run for a while. Well, guys, there's just 175,000 remaining zombies on the battlefield. So it's pretty clear that the fantasy armies did win round two right here. But I figure let's end it off with a bang using a nuke to take out the remaining zombies. Boom, baby, let's go. Huge fantasy army victory in battle number two without the military zombies involved oh wait there's more here hold on boom beautiful oh yeah <laughs> either way guys if you did enjoy this video please be sure to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below what other battles you guys would like to see me do in the future either way i will see y'all in the next one peace i hope you guys enjoyed that video be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.